The product structure is a hierarchical order of a product defined by creating assemblies contained in other assemblies known as subassemblies. A product may consist of many parts that have direct relationships. Establishing a subassembly is common practice when there is a direct connection between a group of parts within a larger assembly. Subassemblies consist of several parts that serve as one unit that contribute to creating a product, especially when instancing this group of parts in the top level assembly. A top level assembly refers to the primary or highest assembly in the hierarchical order. Subassemblies help define the structure of the model and make it easier to understand. Recognizing a product structure in a design, especially when reusing the same parts repeatedly in multiple products, can save time and processing when creating new models that use these same subassemblies. Assemblies can be inserted into other assemblies as one complete entity and serve as a subassembly in the overall product structure. Select the Insert icon in the Assembly toolbar and click the Assemblies filter to insert a subassembly. Select the assembly you want to insert. It appears in the instance list as an assembly with an option to expand and view the components and mates that make up that subassembly. Users may create subassemblies within a larger assembly on the fly. If you wish to move parts into the new subassembly, select all the parts needed, right click, and select Move to New Subassembly. The selected parts and the mates between the selected parts move to a new assembly tab, and the instance list updates to reflect this change. If you wish to create a new subassembly within the top level but do not want to move any existing parts, right click in the instance list and select Create Empty Subassembly instead. Users can reorganize parts from the top level assembly by dragging and dropping them in or out of the structure. A large top level assembly might contain several subassemblies to define the needed product structure. Subassemblies retain their mates. If a subassembly has moving parts, the parts still move in the top level assembly, even though mates are defined inside of the subassembly. The parts in the subassembly continue to move in the same manner in the top level assembly as they do in their assembly tab. Mate features appear in the drop down menu of their respective subassembly. As subassemblies and parts come together to define the design's product structure, all components need to be noted for manufacturers to produce the correct quantities of each component. A bill of materials, or BOM, lists everything needed to manufacture a complete design. Onshape automatically produces BOM tables in assemblies. To access the BOM flyout, click the icon to the right of the graphics area. Onshape automatically places all entities in the assembly within the BOM and keeps it up to date. If more instances are added or removed, the table automatically updates. Reordering the instance list updates the item number in the table as well. Selecting a row in the table also dynamically selects the instance in the list and the graphics area. The table can be formatted by moving columns, adding additional columns based on properties, or removing columns. Once a table is set, it can be inserted into a drawing sheet. Inserting bombs into a drawing sheet is explained in the drawings course.